Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Learnings. So today's session is basically about three things we'll talk about. One is uh, Open JDK, and the second one we'll talk a little bit about Docker and the Java image which Docker uses, and uh, third one we'll talk about uh, a memory issue which you can get into if you are running your application inside a Docker container. All right, so let's get started and. Uh, before I begin, there are a few slots open for online Java training. So if you guys are interested, just let me know through your comment or just drop me an email and we can take it ahead. All right. So let's get and get back to this. First is Open JDK. Let me be very frank. I was not aware of Open JDK till a very long time. And I was just uh, I means exposed from the in beginning of my career to uh, go to Oracle website and then download the JDK. So there is a company called Oracle which is uh, uh, there and uh, uh, it is basically doing all the development of JDK and it's open source. All right. So Open JDK is something which is also free and it's an open source implementation of the Java platform standard edition all right so it's also a free and open source implementation of the java second thing is it is the official reference implementation of java se and it is since version 7 okay so we now know that it's a free and open source implementation of jdk only okay so and uh, who maintains and develops it it's taken care by oracle itself there are two separate you can say the projects one is oracle jdk and another one is the open jdk okay so this is a little bit about open jdk you can read more about it now why i specifically talked about open jdk because this is the one which we frequently use when you are running your applications and docker docker doesn't use uh, it doesn't you can say the recommended way is not use the is not to use the Oracle JDK. Uh, there can be, I think, two reasons for that. One is, of course, the size of the image. I have uh, downloaded the images, uh, and you can see here. I just uh, enter Docker pull Java. By the way, I'm running Docker on my Mac here, so I could just uh, do a Docker pull Java, so it will download the Java image out here. So you can see the size of this image is 643 MB. All right, so I downloaded downloaded another image from the Open JDK repository, which is uh, 8 JRE. All right, and uh, this size of this image is 443 MB. And then I downloaded another one, which is 8 JRE Alpine image, which is the one uh, you can say which is most frequently used. And look at the size of this image; it is just 83 MB. Okay, and see the Oracle. Uh, the size 643 MB almost eight times right so when you are running uh, your applications within containers you will always want that your image size should be as minimum as possible and that is why we have uh, uh, eight JRE Alpine there are um, nine JRE Alpine images so well so the whole point is the Alpine images first thing is that uh, they are sufficient enough means they contain the enough of your libraries that you can very well run your java applications within them and second benefit that we are getting is the size that they are very very you can say very small in size so that the overall size of your docker it it is reduced by a large extent and if you go to the official documentation or the repo of uh, uh, docker as well there also you will find on the references to open jdk and second reason which i think uh, which i feel it can be more of licensing because there are like you can always you is aware you are aware of uh, the android and the oracle and the the legal uh, fight between them so rather than using all of those stuff it's open jdk which is always going to be free and open source 
of course when you're using alpine images now what about uh, what is an alpine if you are not sure then alpine is also a linux distribution like debine so but the whole difference is the alpine is you can see here as well that the that the image is fairly lightweight and that is what we want all right so so we talked about open jdk we talked about images and uh, we talked about alpine images oracle jdk why we are not using the most i think it, on the reason is the size and uh, okay uh, debian and alpine like i mentioned these are two different linux distributions you can read about them now the last part which i wanted to share with you uh, so memory issue so by default uh, when you are not specifying the heap size of your uh, let's say microservice or your java application running inside a docker container so what will be the heap size that your application will take it will depend upon the memory which you have allocated to your machine actually okay suppose you are running on a 4 gb instance and then your application can uh, very well consume one two three maybe three gb of memory and if a single application consumes so much amount of memory then what about the other applications which are running on that machine <laughs> so uh, you will always want right to restrict the or to limit the amount of memory that your application can use so so this you can specify yeah you can specify the minimum and maximum the initial heap size which can be specified using your uh, xms parameter it is 64 mb we are specifying here or maximum heap size x minus x mx you can specify like for example here it is 1 gb so make sure when you are running your applications inside docker you specify heap size otherwise you can run into memory issues so make sure about this take care of this aspect of docker it is uh, uh, you when you're uh, when you're developing locally you will uh, not encounter these issues but when your build goes to some environment and there where where it, uh, there is proper monitoring of the resources consumption so there you can very well catch this thing okay so uh, that's it for today and this is the learnings which uh, are i think sufficient for now so see you next time take care good night bye bye